to every success you see there's always a spiritual on that the point is when you pursue excellence success well welcome to speaking peace family channel don't forget to like to share and to subscribe we are glad to have you God hello bless people you. my name is Uduak Akman you can also call me Bob I'm the author of the book the viral faith uh, today quickly I want us to look at what we call running with God where success is guaranteed running with God where success is guaranteed everyone run in a race whatever your endeavors whatever you have chosen even your path in life you run in a race and now what determines uh, the kind of race you run is actually what your plan and your the will of God is for in your life there are a lot of us that stumble on the will of God for our lives there are a lot of us that walk into the will of God there are a lot of us that are pushed into the will of God but the point is who you run the race with is actually what matters in life who you run the race with a lot of us lay emphasis on who we run against what I mean by that is that your neighbor buys a car or gets a new job or your colleague in the office buys a house or buys a land or built a house and the next thing you are beginning to ask yourself is how come I have not built a house because you are beginning to measure yourself with what your, your colleague has been able to achieve or your neighbor or your contemporaries or those in your, in your age bracket and you begin to compare yourselves with them because now what they do is now motivating your own actions and that's like being a leaf in the wind because right now you are supposed to be the one to channel your paths in life so that's because you are focusing on who you are running against and not who you are running with when you are running against uh, people then they will dictate everything that happens in your life they will dictate everything that happens in your marriage they will dictate everything that happens in your career they will dictate everything that happens in your relationship with god they will dictate even your prayer requests and that is why it's not you cannot afford to focus on who you are running against and the purpose of this uh, teaching is for us to see who, who you are running you know my very first job 18,000 people applied for that job, but I was the only one that was chosen for that job. Why? Because the hand of God was upon me. And that's one thing you need to understand that in every effort, every endeavor, whatever we have chosen in life, who we are running with, who we are looking up to, to be able to help us achieve that particular thing, is actually what, what you know, what um, differentiates us from other people. In um, First Kings um, 18, 46, it says, And the hand of God was upon Elijah. And he guarded up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. For emphasis, verse 45 of that particular uh, chapter says that Ahab rode ahead of Elijah, who had no chariots, who had no horses, just himself. But he was able to outrun Ahab. Why? Because the hand of Ahab. God, just because what? He had something extra, you know, that was carrying him along. And that, that's one thing I've always said um, all the time, that... To every success you see, there's a spiritual undertone. There are a lot of people, a lot of us want to emulate. There are a lot of rich folks, there are a lot of successful people, there are a lot of successful individuals we see around the room. And we always want to emulate, but we do not know what these people are actually doing behind us. So it's upon him. And that's one thing a lot of us need to focus on this day, to let the, you know, to run with God. When you begin to run with God, the race ceases to be yours. But it now becomes God's because God will put you on the palm of his hand or will put his hand upon you and begin to run the speed for you. And you know that God does not compete with everybody because knowing the one that he declares the end from the beginning, meaning that God will not put you into any endeavor he has not already completed in your favor. So you see, you are not running against anybody. You are not in competition. You are only running, you know, a race that has already been completed and won in your favor. That's my message for you today. That's why I want you to go out there and succeed. Second, First Corinthians 9, 24 to 26. It's about Corinthians. the fact that you run in a race. Everybody runs in a race. But what guarantees us, what assurance we have in this particular race we are running because God has already overcome on your behalf and is bringing you into that particular race for you to complete it and live to the fullness and enjoy life to the fullness depending on him and begin to shine and reign even in this time and generation. God bless you real good. The name is Fuduak Akman. If this is your first time on speaking to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to share, do not forget to like. This can actually help somebody. Good. My message for you today, go out there and succeed. You already you are in a race that has been completed on your behalf and is fulfilled on your behalf. God bless you real good.